Take a look at the Yankees pitchers tonight. In the end, Stephen Tarpley in his third appearance pitched well. Two innings of one hit ball. But before that, Gray, Loisica, and Canely having their problems. And Jack, I want to go back to getting yourself in a hole or behind the eight ball. Every one of the first three pitchers did that. And to your point in that Canely at bat, he, uh, Maurer knew what was coming, right? Like he didn't have command of the changeup. It's a 3-2 pitch, a power pitcher in that instance. What do you think he's going to throw? And that's exactly what he threw. Yeah, I think the smartness and the selectivity of Joe Maurer shine through in that at-bat because you're absolutely right. The changeup is such an, such an important pitch for Canely, and he absolutely did not have it in that at-bat. And though that made it 6-1 to one to 10-1, to one, and you think, okay, it turns a route into a laugher. Not really, because the Yankees did rally on the Didi Gregorius Grand Slam. So if Canely was able to get through that inning and keep it at 6-1, to one, who knows where this game could have ended up. But the first three pitchers out of the box for the Yankees really struggled, especially Gray just not giving them that effort they were looking for. I felt like he was the Sonny Gray we see when he doesn't have a good outing. We've seen that a lot this season, unfortunately, because I say that, Jack, his M.O. was to attack, right? Keep it simple and attack. Well, when he goes into the zone with the attack mode, he's too much in the zone. It's hittable. And then everything else is so far out of the zone, hitters are laid off it. Yeah, I think the frustrating point for Sonny Gray and for the Yankees as they watch him is that he does get ahead in the count sometimes, and then he becomes his own worst enemy. It's almost as if you get ahead in the count, and then you become cautious. I look at that Jake Cave at bat. He jumps ahead 0-2 in that count, and then he's trying to get Cave to bite on a curveball trying to get him to bite on a curveball but you've got to at least have the illusion that that curveball is a strike you can't throw a 50 foot curveball and expect that a major league hitter is going to swing at that he goes up in the zone with the one fastball that results in a pass ball and a run scoring and then finally he does throw a 3-2 curveball and cave says yeah i'm going to swing at this one because it was so up in the zone that it really wasn't even much of a curveball and cave was able to knock it through the middle deliver two runs and i think that's the at bat that's going to stick with gray is one that he would love to have back